Okay, here's a sample from an A4 green uh, that came in and what we can see just by glancing at the sample, looking the sample over to begin with, you can see there's a pretty distinct line where soil moisture is adequate and then over here you can see that the uh, that the soil is just falling off the the roots. It's quite a decent thatch layer in there but it looks like uh, there's a little bit of decompression compression in here that you can see is possibly the result of fairy ring. So it looks like we're going to see fairy ring. Uh, we'll take a closer look at the sample also to see if there's any other potential pathogens involved. Uh, but you can see the uh, this is probably the original sod line and this has been accumulated over top uh, heavy top dressing. It looks like uh, only once or twice. It looks like a pretty dense layer of, uh, of thatch and possibly uh, what we can see from the top here uh, is a fairy ring. Uh, what we like to do with a sample uh, such as this one is we go ahead and make a moist chamber by moistening up uh, some paper towels in a box and then we also want to re-wet uh, the area where we suspect the fairy ring is located. And the reason that we try to re-wet this area, and we tell it's hydrophobic, is that we want to provide enough moisture uh, for the fungus to produce uh, mycelium that will give us a little bit better idea of the uh, fungus that's involved if we're looking for uh, clamp connections. And you can see also at the top of the sample there's a little bit of a degradation of the thatch in this area right here compared to the area right adjacent to it. So then we'll wait for another uh, 24 to 48 hours and we'll we'll check the surface of the plug and we'll look and see where we can see if, if and where the mycelium might show up. Well, after 48 hours of incubation in that moist chamber, we were able to see some mycelial growth right around the thatch layer. And under normal conditions, we can uh, pick this mycelium off with a pair of fine forceps, and then we'll transfer it to a microscope slide to get a better look at the structure of the hyphae. Here we are pushing the uh, mycelium off onto the microscope slide and then we'll uh, come in after we get this finally transferred over there and place a cover slip on top of the uh, hyphae and then we'll be able to take a closer look at the uh, mycelium that we see in there. So here comes a cover slip, there it goes, flat. Now we'll take it to a compound mo microscope and here's what we see. That little bump uh, where the arrow is located is a clamp connection that is typical for the basidiomyces that cause fairy ring. And here's just another look at a, a piece of mycelium that has been broken off, and you can see the structure of that clamp connection. Refer to the links associated with this update for additional information on management and control of fairy ring.